The terrorist who covered up the sign at Exhibit 19 with stars and signed his name SARS-CoV-2. Broke into the gallery to steal the crown. As he stood on the double aces with his accomplice, the rhino, and the dragon with the helical neck. But the man with the fever resting on the floor didn't seem to notice. Nor the man standing nearby with the cough who had just been at the exhibit with the anosmia and dysgusia guy, who seemed to have been staring at the lungs that were dead in front of the jello stand where there was lightning and a dead guy on the floor. And the man on the floor noticed the letters choked. And nearby, there was a rat with a piece of an R in his mouth. 90. Until finally, two angry officers arrived. One with a visor. and the other with a muddy deer on his head. And they finally shot and exploded the terrorist. All right, this is our scene on COVID-19, and it is represented by the terrorist who covered up 19. He broke into this gallery over here, and he covered the 19 on the sign with stars. So covered 19 for COVID-19. And we can see that he covered the 19 with stars, which reminds us of SARS, as the virus which causes the disease COVID-19 is SARS, and more specifically, SARS-CoV-2. And the reason why it's called SARS-CoV-2 is because it resembles the virus of 2003, SARS-CoV, or SARS-CoV-1. It was actually another strain which came out in 2012, which caused MERS. But anyway, we're going to focus on SARS-CoV-2 in this scene over here. And we also note that the terrorist signed his name, SARS-CoV-2, just to ingrain in our minds that we're talking about SARS-CoV-2 in this scene over here. We take a look at the terrorist himself, and we note the spiked glycoproteins coming out of his envelope. These are also known as peplomers. These spiked glycoprotein give the virus the ability to infect the host cell. And we'll talk about how soon. But before we get to that, we notice the crown in the scene. In the scene, the terrorist was trying to steal the crown from the gallery. The reason why he's trying to steal a crown is to remind us of corona, as corona means crown. And the reason why coronavirus is called coronavirus is because under the microscope, it has the appearance of a crown due to the spiked glycoproteins which we just spoke about. Another thing that we note over here is that this virus is standing on top of two aces. We'll say aces two. Aces two for ace two. This reminds us that the virus attaches to the ACE2 receptor, or the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor on cell membranes. This receptor is present on lots of cells, especially those of the type 2 alveoli cells of the lungs. And this is why coronavirus, and specifically COVID-19, is so good at infecting the lungs. Another thing that we note is the rhino. His accomplice is the rhino. Rhino for RNA, as COVID-19, as well as the other coronaviruses, are RNA viruses. And specifically, you might have noted that on the rhino, there is a plus sign on the side of it. Perhaps this rhino used to be a paramedic or something. This plus sign reminds us of positive sense, as COVID-19, as well as the other coronaviruses, are positive sense, meaning that their genome can also serve directly as mRNA. We then take a look at the dragon, and we remember that the dragon had this helical neck, which reminds us of the helical-shaped capsid of COVID-19 and the other coronaviruses. And we can see in the picture over here on the bottom that the RNA genome is in fact in this helical shape. Next, we talk about symptoms. And we note that there is this man over here on the floor. He didn't notice the terrorist who broke in. I don't know why. Perhaps because he was taking a nap on the floor, which reminds us of the fatigue. But the thermometer in his mouth reminds us of the fever. Common symptoms of COVID-19 include fever and fatigue. But I just want to mention, which I didn't have in the scene, is that many people, especially children, remain asymptomatic despite being infected with COVID-19. Now, what's interesting about COVID-19 is that there is actually a huge range of severity of the disease. We take a look at this guy over here and we see that he is coughing. 
He also looks like he may be short of breath. Dry cough and shortness of breath are also common symptoms seen in patients with COVID-19. Other more specific symptoms include anosmia, which is loss of smell, and dysgeusia, which is loss of taste. And that's represented by this guy over here. This is a head that is apparently one of the exhibits in the gallery. And we note that this guy has anosmia right under his nose and dysgeusia written by his mouth. This guy actually showed up in our scene on zinc deficiency, as anosmia and dysgeusia are also symptoms of zinc deficiency. This guy over here kind of looks like he was staring at the lungs over here. These dead lungs remind us of respiratory failure. Respiratory failure, which may be related to a cytokine storm, is highly associated with COVID-19. We recall from the video the jello over here. This stand was made of jello. Jello reminds us of hypercoagulability, as hypercoagulability is another potential complication of COVID-19. We also recall the lightning shock, which reminds us of shock, as well as organ failure. And finally, the dead guy on the floor reminds us of death, which is unfortunately a complication of COVID-19. Then we take a look at these letters on the floor that the guy was apparently looking at. And we note that it says choked. Not because choked is a symptom of COVID-19, but because choked is a mnemonic for important risk factors for COVID-19. That is, for the development of severe disease with COVID-19. C is for cardiopulmonary illness. H is for hypertension. O is for obesity. A is for age, older age. K is for kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, and D is for diabetes. Next, we take a look at the rat on the floor. And this rat has a piece of an R in his mouth. A rat with a piece of R for RT-PCR. RT-PCR is the most common form of diagnosis for COVID-19 and usually involves a nasal swab. Finally, we get to the two guys over here who represent vaccines for COVID-19. One guy had a visor, which reminds us of the Pfizer vaccine or the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. And the other guy has a muddy deer on his hat. Muddy deer for Moderna. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are the most widely used vaccines available. And the reason why these two guys over here have two guns each is to remind us that these two vaccines are administered usually in two doses. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene. If you click on this top left button over here, you'll take a look at the SARS-CoV-2 life cycle, which I've provided in this picture. Stay tuned for our next video and take care.